Hey guys, Joe here. Hope you're enjoying this evening. This is a little bit of a thing that we put together to help celebrate you. Now, I went out and at last night's little golf event and interviewed several of our former wrestlers and other people that were associated with the program over the many years that you were associated with yourself. The simple question was, what kind of influence did Bob Guzzo have on you, your career, and where you are today? And here's some of the things those guys had to say. But Joel, yes, one thing that uh, Coach Guzzo that may have uh, influenced you or one thing that you kind of used to this day that might be something that he kind of gave you a little nugget or just something he did over the years that sort of helped you out or didn't help you out. <laughs> uh, let's see, a nugget from Guzzo. Um, well, I think uh, saying that you know you work as hard as you can and the result doesn't always work the best guy doesn't always win but it was still worth the effort to uh, work as hard as you could to get there so essentially is when you lost he said that to you right yeah Except I think he also said you something about some there were some other adjectives I think in there. thanks buddy appreciate it sure you uh, were assistant coach at Guzzo for a few years right so what's one thing that you spent your time with Guzzo that, uh, that influenced you, that, that kind of gave you something to this day that you might use? Well, I want to get out of my wrestling rooms as soon as I can, but he goes, one more, one more, <laughs> one more. <laughs> he never let me out from that wrestling room. And that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, hear, I, feel, I feel you. All right, let's go. All right brother. One thing that uh, Coach Guzzo, that one piece of advice or one thing he's done in your life to kind of influence you to this day, what, what might that be? Uh, I think uh, for me it was, uh, Guz was perseverance, toughness, mental attitude. You know, for me, Guzzo was an extension of my high school coach. They're, uh, they're like brothers and I, I loved my high school coach. So uh, when he came here and saw Guzzo, he was just like that and I think that's uh, what he helped me with uh, you know if I can think of what helped me the most was just keep persevering persevering is awesome man appreciate it all right thing here so no not right all now. right brother no. yeah yeah you're gonna be in this Frank you're gonna be gonna be there buddy go ahead take care of all right man now you gotta say something you gotta say what, what was something Guzzo influenced you on positive negative Bob <laughs> yeah I gotta tell you you taught me to high crotch better than anybody I know <laughs> Is that a wrestling move or just a high crotch in oh, the high general? crotch in the finishes, that's what won me a national championship. Fantastic, man. Yeah. Good for you, brother. And being, you and Joe being in my corner. Being in your corner yelling at you. <laughs> and Frank. Hachiro. Don't forget Hachiro. Oh, oh, yeah. We uh, can't forget him. hes I don't think he was there, but he was there in well, spirit for sure. I have to say the same thing. Like When I came out of high school, I uh, couldn't take anybody down. And he taught me how to take people down with the high crotch. He, uh, he taught me how to, you know... Um, actually changed my entire style how to do hand control and everything so no one influenced me and did more for me than Gus. can you guys safely say that today you maybe athletically you're not as athletic but you can probably still do some of the stuff that he taught you from years ago oh, hand I control and stuff like that. Not, not fast. i teach that technique all the time do you me too. still yeah. rotor when i when, yeah. when, when i off the bottom I, when I was legs, coaching, I, I, did, I taught legs. him the same technique. How to get out of legs. Ha yeah. yeah. Hand control. And that's how many years ago, right, that you guys still remember that. That's the okay. sign of a what? Yes. A damn Great good coach, coach right? Damn yes. Coach. Fast guys, man. Appreciate it. All right. Mike Coob. Bob Guzzo. What kind of influence did he have? Anything specifically? It could be a wrestling move okay. that he did or some life lesson or life lesson taught you something is, not to do. Life or, lesson is, I think it's marry your... Second wife first. <laughs> is that, is that what so, it is? That's what that's what he says that, to do. If you do that, you marry your second okay. wife first. Yeah. You, did you do that? Or are you still working on that? Uh, I'm still married to the same woman. <laughs> Anyways, just pick the right one. God right? bless her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. See you later. All right, Joe. Now, so you got to talk right now and talk about Bob Guzzo and what he's kind of meant to you or what you've learned over the years from Guz. Maybe even something that you still use to this day. Use. You, you, you're right now? Yeah, right you now. Gonna, you're going to edit it. I will edit this. Gozo, I got to tell you something. It, it has been a pleasure. I was I was never sorry that I came down to North Carolina State to, to wrestle. 
And, and under you, the, the one thing I can tell you, uh, you made it uh, made it a lot of fun. And, and the technique and everything that you taught me, uh, I teach the people that, that want to know wrestling to this day. Um, when I think about some of the things that brought me down here, and one of the benefits it was, because um, you know your mentor, uh, Bill Layton, that you learned so much from, and Mike and I, of course, knew and learned a lot from him too. Uh, it just helped us to grow as wrestlers, as men, and we appreciate you uh, and the man you become, and for us to be a part of the extended family of Wolfpack Wrestling. Love good, you guys. Good job, brother. Thank you. All right. All right, Mark. What's uh, the question is? You know, Guzzo over the years, and uh, you know, all these years later, any kind of long-lasting thing that you've learned from Guz that maybe you can kind of take us to, uh, you know, kind of kind of use to this day today. You know, whether your business or in personal life. Absolutely. He told me if you hang in there and you keep fighting, you get your chance. And I got mine, and thank goodness he gave me a chance. A local boy from Garner, North Carolina. Good too. Almost a Pennsylvania native, so. so excellent. Very good. All right, nice. All right, next. <laughs> he was good, Mark. He, he was pretty good. good. He was really good. <laughs> so what you know, anything that goes him out of uh, I think goes really he was epitome of being able to have a great attitude and then having a tenacity as well so every day you came in the room you knew there was the, the room always started off with a great attitude and a lot of tenacity so I, I carry that forward today in everything we do I, and I reflect a lot back to what goes and what he embodied in terms of his attitude and uh, just his overall demeanor excellent fantastic bro. thanks man yeah. Chris. Hi, I'm Chris Mondragon. I wrestled for Coach Guzzo from 80 to 84, 158, and my last year at 150, I tore my rotator cuff. We, we don't need your own damn but history. The what? biggest thing for me that Coach Guzzo did for me is he recognized I was a family person. I came from Colorado. Weird, strange events, how I ended up out here. And because you wrestle through spring break and you barely go home for Christmas, he recognized I was very homesick. So a couple things he did is when we wrestled at Maryland or at Navy, he would let me go with my brother who lived in Glen Burnie, right outside of Baltimore. And that meant the world to me, just to charge my batteries. And I really, really appreciated that, and that meant so, so much to me. Uh, Coach and I have been close since he recruited me, but that was something that he sensed and he took care of, and I appreciate that. Sure love you, Coach. That's awesome, Chris. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. All right, after all these years knowing Bob Guzzo, what was this, some of the things that you took away from Bob and... Uh, you know, that you kind of used to this day or, or something you remember that he taught you years ago? My best best takeaway from Guz is, is how important his guys were to him and how it stayed with him forever. Um, years after I was gone from NC State Wrestling um, and I was coaching my sons in high school, yeah. um, Guzzo would see us at a tournament and he would come by. He knew I had wrestling mats in the basement. And he would come by in the middle of a tournament on Saturday and say, you know what, I saw something that Matt or Ben were doing and I want to I want to come by and what are you doing tomorrow morning? Wow. And he'd come by for an hour and a half, two hours on Sunday. It's a D1 college coach coming into my basement to work with my high school sons wow. and make them better. That's all about who yeah. he is. That's, that's just who he is. That's, that says it all, man. That sums it up. Fantastic. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. We've been talking to actually a lot of ex-wrestlers, but you're one of our n number one fan for wrestling for, for a long, long time, and we appreciate it. Is there anything you can remember about Guz, Guzzo or anything that you want to share with us about something that you've kind of learned or something that you impressed you about Bob Guzzo over the years? Okay. Um, I, I felt like he ran a, a, a sterling program. Uh, the, the wrestlers were devoted to their craft and he made sure that they had a chance to improve in I appreciated the fact that he was um, open to my hanging on the around on the fringes yeah. as a fan and um, it enriched certainly enriched my life for the 30 years that I was involved um, in, as a fan and I very much appreciate the, that enrichment that it gave me. And I really... You know, guys, for 100 years, and uh, 
what kind of influence or some some kind of tidbit or kind of something that he's done for you or something that you still use to this day that Guzzo influenced you on? Uh, Coach Guz, where can I go? He's uh, the best. He's the best. He's taught me loyalty. He's taught me just how to be a, a true I don't know. I don't even know where to go from here. I, I do know I got bad hips and bad knees from this rotator. <laughs> yeah, so that's here, all I got to say. Me too. <laughs> but but uh, Gus has uh, been such an inspiration to me, and he's, he's the, truly the best. Uh, I love him. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to say what, what he's actually done for me. I mean, he's brought me to this area, and I just love him more than anything. Matt. That's awesome, Mike. You know. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank all you. Right, man. All right, man. Bye. All right. Okay, Gus, it's my turn to tell you how you affected my life. Really, it's difficult to put in words. It's really difficult to really uh, express it properly. All I can say is, I've learned so much from you in a direct and indirect way. The one thing that I've taken with me, it's in my soul, it's in my heart, is the fact that there was joy in everything you did, and there was strong desire and enthusiasm with everything you did. And that's what I try to bring to my family, my friends, and also at work. It's really been helping me successfully get through this career of being in management and actually to affect coaching people. So, Guzzo, thank you. Now, here is a short little glimpse of time that happened over 40 years ago that I know was the pivotal point of the NC State wrestling tradition. This thing that happened is a special moment I know for you, it's a special moment for me, it's a special moment for the whole program and I just wanted to share this with everybody here today. After the leg, Reese has been a strong finisher throughout the tournament as I watched him throughout the tournament he has been strong at the end of the match and there he goes again he's got the lead and he is attacking. He also has riding time where he has been controlling his opponent from on top. Nothing there. One thing I should point out, referee Barry Sutter we see in the background, he goes right along with these wrestlers. These re referees are graded and just 10 are selected for the final matches. There you see it, 20 seconds to go in the third period. If they're tied, they'll go three one-minute overtime periods. It's three to two. Reese of North Carolina State on the right. Hummel of Iowa State on the left. Reese leads, but look at him go back in. Now Hummel's got to try and score. Spin behind anything to get that takedown to tie the match. He doesn't get it. Oh, that was close. Perry Hummel almost got around, but he didn't do it. And Bob Guzzo on the right, the coach of North Carolina State, is delirious with joy. His wrestler has won it. Perry Hummel here dejected. He lost it. And Reese, the winner, is exhausted. Final score, 4-2, to two, because Reese was awarded one extra point for riding time. Truly remarkable, wasn't it, Kenny, that an unseated wrestler could be the champion? It's almost unbelievable that a freshman unseated could win the national championship. Let's look at that last few seconds of slow motion when Hummel's attempting to do everything possible to try and score the tying takedown. Bill's now with the winner, Matt Reese. Matt, what a story. You came in here, you were unseated, you were a freshman, and now you're an NCAA champion. Did you ever think it could happen? I had much a chance as anybody else. When you get here, it's a new story. It don't matter what happens in the conference. When you get here, it's a new story. I wrestled tough. I wrestled tough. I paid off. I dedicated all to my coach, Bob Gus, for working hard with him.